What's going on, everybody? How is everyone doing this evening or this morning or tonight, wherever you are in the world? <laughs> Hope everyone had a great day today. A happy freaking Friday, especially to you, Mowgli Vapes. You're the first one here, so shout out to you. Thank you all so much for joining me. And uh, yeah, this is warm up the stew. I don't know. Um, I've wanted to do this for quite some time now where I do like a little pre-stew show. I used to do it on my Facebook page and I've done it, you know, all over the place. But, you know, what better place than YouTube, you know? So yeah, here we are. Warm up the stew. I don't know if that's going to be a regular thing. I don't know if I should be deleting these videos afterwards. I don't know if I want to have this just as kind of like our little hangout sort of thing. But I said that I would do more live content and here it is. So with that, yeah, I have no agenda for this whatsoever, by the way. Just want to let you know. Um, we're just going to hang out, have a good time, get ready for vape stew tonight. And, you know, obviously I'll pimp that show for anyone out there that may not be a regular watcher of the vape stew over on Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Um, but yeah, any input would be, you know, uh, I would love your guys in input on what you want to do with this sort of thing, because I love live content, you know, obviously. Um, and I want to know what you guys want to do as far as this little Friday time slot thing. Cause you know, usually if I have a video come out on Friday, I don't want that to this or this video to kind of interrupt that flow. But anyways, yeah, I'm just rambling now, but what is up everybody? Let's just do a couple quick shout outs. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Mad Max Vapes, Ian Morgan, Henrik Hansen, Mowgli Vapes, Zach Shrum, Alex Cervantes. Oh man, I'm sorry if I kill your last name, guys. <laughs> Dashnit, uh, Chris Palacios. Ooh, I'm gonna be so bad at these. I'm so sorry, you guys. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. More people are rolling in now, so hello, 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 everyone. Mobro says Nick. He's over there in the UK right now where it's 11.30 p.m. Uh, Ronnie Cash Vapes. We've got Nick Thompson, Overdrip Rip. What's going on, everybody? And uh, yeah, so this is my little pre-stew show where I get to talk to you guys directly and you get to ask me questions and stuff like that. So, you know, if there's any burning things on your mind and you want to talk about it, then feel free to just pop it in chat. Of course, you know, the super chat's open too. If you guys feel like giving me a buck or two, that would be cool as well. But of course, uh, I'll try to get to everyone's questions regardless. So with that, yeah. Um, I'm just going to show what I'm vaping on real quick. The little pre-buffet buffet. We've got the, the Rinco Manto with this uh, Dead Rabbit RTA. One of my favorite setups within the past probably six months or so. Uh, it just goes so well together. I don't know what it is, but I really, 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 really do like this. I want to get the black Dead Rabbit RTA for the top of this thing. I think that would go even better. Do they do a piano black? I'm not even sure. If they do a piano black, the, the gloss black one, I would love that for the top of this because it would be perfectly matchy-matchy. Uh, the only other thing I've got in front of me right now is the, whoa, the Warlock's Hammer by The Gathering Vapor. Make sure you guys check out The Gathering Vapor Lounge on Facebook. I've talked about them before. Links are all over the place. Um, but yeah, The Gathering Vapor Lounge. That's all you got to look for on there. Um, in the Dead Rabbit RTA, I've got some Blaz Peach. And in the Warlock's Hammer, oh, the, I've got the Apocalypse on top of there, the splatter print one. And yeah, this guy right here, Kinky Vapor E-Juice from the UK. Big shout out to my boy JLVC for hooking me up with some of that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, Stu Rep, I think I, I answered your question there. Uh, <laughs> Joanne Shima, like the idea of doing these since I can't make the stew. Well, yeah, I mean, the stew is always on replay, so I would highly encourage you guys that don't watch it live to check out the replays because we do have some very good conversation on the stew. Uh, there's some really important topics that we talk, uh, we talk about and we tackle. So I do highly recommend you guys check out the replays, even though I know you can't interact and it's not that much fun, but uh, you do get the, the actual information from it. Uh, let's see. What are your thoughts on the 528 media blasting the 510 on the goon? 
Ooh. Media blasting a 510 connection. Probably not the best idea considering the whole point of media blasting is to make something uh, not gritty. What's the word I'm looking for? Like porous almost so that you can accept, you know, paint or finishes. Um, and the fact that you want the b best possible contact with a 510 connection, that's not a good idea, really, honestly. They should have just you know, masked it off and then done the rest of it or something like that. I think that was a big mistake on their part. Honestly, I haven't really looked into the new uh, Goon 25, uh, whatever, you know, the newest Goon that's coming out. I haven't really looked into that all that much. I don't know anyone at 528 Customs. Um, but yeah, if they did that, that's a pretty bad idea because, uh, yeah, that's, that's not really... Uh, not a good thing, because you want that to, to be very, very highly conductive, and media blasting something is going to take away from that. <sighs> Anyways, we have... <laughs> Mobro, are you still sober? I don't know. I don't think so. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, beer tomorrow. Okay, gotcha. Um, you vape 24 milligram. That is insane. Uh... There you go. <laughs> 24 milligram. That's a lot of nicotine. Um, even on pod systems, I only vape about 18 or 20. Uh, I miss Fresh Build Friday. Start doing those live before the show. Mm, okay. So like I explained in my last live video, the, the website announcement, I have purposefully not gotten anything in from Chinese companies in a while. Uh, and that's to play catch up because I'm coming out with videos now that are basically a month or two behind and I need to just finish up those products and get them out of the way because I, you know, I made sure that, I, you know, these companies sent me stuff so they deserve a, a review, you know, at least a, a high quality review from me, regardless of my thoughts or feelings about the device itself. I'm, I'm going to do a review of a product and as far as in a timely manner, you know what? I hate to say it, but that, that is not guaranteed. That is something that I am not very good at, but, um, real quick. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. Uh, uh Chris, Chris P I'm going to call you Chris P cause I'm, I'm terrible at last names. What's the best 2700 batteries in my opinion? Honestly, um, I use the Amp Kings. The Amp Kings for me work really great. Uh, the, the proper iJoy batteries, the, the, I forget if it's the four leg or the five leg. Someone's going to have to correct me on that one. Uh, but the, the good iJoy batteries are fine. Um, Vapcell's got a good one. I think it's the purple wrap, if I'm not mistaken. It's either the purple wrap or the gold wrap. Again, someone's going to have to correct me on that. Um, <clears throat> And Cool Running said, yeah, okay, Cool Running said Samsung 30T, which are 21700. So if you're specifically looking for a 2700, then those are my two kind of go-to batteries. But obviously, please, please go uh, make sure you help out Mooch. Go to his Patreon, give him a couple of bucks a month because he absolutely deserves so much of our money and time and respect because he is amazing and he helps us out with all of these battery specs. He goes through that that much effort to uh to do that but uh mobro says five pound donation get yourself a beer dude for the next vlog well thank you mobro uh the next vlog um i'm also kind of doing this live stream because i'm not doing a vlog this week Brr, so much going on i know but yeah next vlog i do i will definitely uh get myself a beer and i might have to go to the import aisle in my local beer store and pick up an english beer now because of the five pound donation there. So thank you, Mobro, for that. Um, so yeah, no vlog this week, uh, this coming Monday. I have also got, oh, I forgot to mention the fact that I've got a bunch of vape mail um, from people. So I'm gonna be opening this live on camera as well. <clears throat> Jesus, um, five leg. Okay, so it's the five leg batteries. The new five legs are different than the original 25 amp now instead of 30 amp. Great. Thank you, Overtrip, for that, uh, Chris. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, uh, they keep changing the damn batteries they use. And Cloud Mechanic says it's the gold wrap. You want the gold wrap um, VAP cells and the original five leg high joys, which, ugh, good luck finding those. Honestly, when in doubt, Amp Kings work just fine, in my opinion. 
But yeah, there you go. Oh wait, purple vap cell. Now we have conflicting stories here. Now I'm confused. Um, Nick, have you tried the intake RTA? Awesome flavor with it. I have not. I forget who makes that. Is that Davpo? I can't remember. I, there's a lot of companies out there that I don't get anything in from. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, it's funny because, like, you see some of the other reviewers getting stuff in from companies and, you know, I'm, I'm not getting from that company and I don't know. It's all, it, it's whatever. I don't really even care. But in any case, yeah, the intake RTA looks really, really nice. I want one, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've got so many other RTAs out there and I don't think anything can beat this as far as I'm concerned. This Dead Rabbit RTA, it's going to be a top contender. It's going to probably end up taking the, uh, the top tank spot. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Well, I'll probably end up doing an art best RTA of 2018. I, I have to kind of sit down and think about what categories I'm going to be rating for my end of the year kind of best of video, because that's always a that's always a big, big video. People like that kind of stuff. Anyways, who what else do we have here? Um, next coil build idea. Hmm. I've been kind of gathering a few ideas from online. I saw that, uh, that RDA that Zofi Vapes reviewed. It, it's like specifically meant for the stovetop coil, which I find very intriguing. So I'm going to have to look into that one. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, uh, I've got so much else going on. Like I've got to like kind of finish the website because it's it's like ninety percent there. But I want to do a few more little things with it um, before it's like I can really call it like good to go or for now kind of thing. Because like I mentioned in last week's live video, that I constantly try to update and just adjust what I've got going on. So. <laughs> We've got Overdrip Rip and OG Overdrip in the chat right now. So big shout outs to you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the 12 Vapors here. What's going on? The best batteries for 18650s are Samsung and Sony. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could, can kind of concur with that. Samsung 25Rs are, are my go-to for... Anything regulated, you know, this this right here, I honestly think I have uh, either my rewraps. Yeah, I got some rewraps in here. I think those were originally 25Rs. Um, but yeah, the Samsung 25Rs are like my go-to for anything regulated and for mechanical, Sony's all the way. Sony's, you can't go wrong. Uh, let's see. Gold Vap Cells, the bomb. There we go. So yeah, more input on these batteries. Intake RTA was by Mike Vapes. Yeah, but what company did they go through? Oh, Og Vape. Okay. Og Vape does send me stuff from time to time. Like, randomly, I got the um, BTFC and their little Skynet sub ohm tank, which, honestly, best cheap sub ohm tank out there on the market, in my opinion. 25 bucks. And it's got a bubble, bubble tank and uh, mesh coils. So. Really banging good little RT or not RTA tank sub ohm tank there for for not a lot of money. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, on a mech, go purple. Regulated, go to the gold. There we go. Vap cell. I, I really want to get some of those vap cells in. I think I might have to purchase some for myself at some point in time. Um, boo, 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 boo. Let's see. I think I need more hats. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I've got a pretty nice collection behind me over here, but, uh, I could fill like, like this whole wall. I would love to be able to do that. That would be pretty, pretty cool. I need some more dad hats. I said that in a vlog and that remains true. Uh, I need some more dad hats and my boss is calling me. Sorry, Joel. I wonder if he's watching right now. <laughs> he's going to kill me. I told him to pop into chat if he wants to watch. Oh, we have uh, another super chat. We got Stuart B. Because love wins. Oh, 
<laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for the 20 pound donation, man. Really do appreciate it. Um, do you guys have names? I know you have names for the five and I think the 10 pound note. Do you have a, a nickname for the 20 pound note? Uh, I have an old one here. Here's an old 20 pound note. It's still like paper. Yeah. I don't know, but your 20 pound note is bigger than your 10 pound note. Ever so slightly. That's so weird. I don't know. Our bills are all the same size, but <laughs> that's my random fact of the day. Thank you. <laughs> Waiting for the release in Australia on the Dead Rabbit RTA. Dude, it is really good. I think you're really going to like it. Um, yeah, Dead Rabbit RTA. That answers your question, Cloud Chasing Vapes. Uh, do do Chat's going pretty quick now. Oh, boy. Here come the eggplants. I wonder if I still have, I must not have, um, the, the bot there. I must not have Nightbot on, on right now. A fiver is a skydiver. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. 20 is a score. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hey, Mike's Max, How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Bloody snapbacks. Worst thing in vaping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I like dad hats, but I don't look good in, uh, like, kind of beanie hats. I don't know what you guys call them, those, but uh, those beanie hats, I do not look good in them whatsoever. So I can pull off a snapback. I can pull off a dad hat. I can pull off a trucker hat, and that's about it. That's pretty much my, my hat realm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need a, a new variety of different kinds of hats. <laughs> Just come in one day. I'll have a sailor hat on or something. Nope, no Nightbot. Well, you guys feel free to swear all you want and uh, spam <laughs> because apparently I don't have Nightbot on. No Nightbot. What's up, Stan? <laughs> um, Stan, do you like my thumbnail picture? <laughs> Warm up the stew. I don't know. I like this. I think all the all of the Supreme Stooges should go live on their various pages, and we should all just kind of jump back and forth. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Mr. TX, Mr. Tenacious TX Vapes is in in the house right now. Scally Cap, that's a good point. I've never tried a Scally Cap. I don't know. So Mike says a fiver is a skydiver, 10, 10 is a tenner, I knew that, that uh, 20 is a score, and 50 is a bullseye. I've never even seen a 50-pound note. I definitely have to check one of those out. <laughs> um, speaking of, speaking of UK currency, um, I looked into the prices of flights today, and there's a distinct possibility I might be able to make it to Expo. The problem is coverage at the shop. We are down an employee. We need to find someone to fill the spot. And if I can get the time off, then yeah. And if uh, if like I can still make it, I, I I really hope so because I wanna I wanna come out there again and see all you guys. What's up, Conway? How's it going, man? Um, let's see. I need a fedora. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm, no, no, no fedoras. But, you know, I think, what is it? Like, the, the hat that people call the fedora that's in all the memes and everything isn't actually a fedora. It's some other type of hat. I forget. I don't know. I kind of want a bowler hat. What do you think? What do you guys think of that? You think I would rock a, a bowler hat? Or maybe, like, a, a top hat, perhaps, with a feather sticking out and a monocle? <laughs> Vaping Irish says 500 is a monkey or monkey's fist. <sighs> really? There's a 500 pound note? That's weird. All these guys from the UK chiming in right now. Your currency, man. Your currency's crazy. I like the colors, though. Not going to lie. Uh, greetings, uh, Danny. Danny is from Holland. Hey, how's it going? Greetings. Uh, good evening. Welcome to warm up the stew where we're just getting everybody ready for vape stew tonight a trilby thank you jay hayes Pr <laughs> wow dropping knowledge about hats i should rename this to 
hats hat show. I don't know. <laughs> Super awesome hat show. Trill me, yeah. Like Vic. So, um, let's dig into some of this vape mail. Shall we? Oh, I totally forgot about this one. I've got something over here, too, from DHL. I have no idea what that one is. All right, got my trusty knife. Let's go ahead and dive right in. This one is from Sickwid. I know what these ones are, because I kind of, you know, they told me. I saw these guys not too long ago. No bowler hat? No? Okay. <laughs> so this one is a bottle of fritter. Sickwid fritter. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it's apple fried batter cinnamon and glaze, and it's actually based on oh a, a real apple frittle frit blah, 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 fritter wow from i forget where he said the country was originating uh from the apple fritter either way that stuff is amazing it's fall time here and it's so good yeah and uh yeah my trusty spider co knife that one of my subscribers gave to me and my friends ryan big shout out to ryan for the knife it really helps when, when opening vape mail you got to have a good knife so that was a uh, Sickwid Fritter. I forget the country that he said it was from. <sighs> He's going to kill me for not remembering. <laughs> this one, oh, it comes in a box. All right. Well, this one is Enigma. This is from Sick Boy. Sick Boy and Eastern Vapor, I believe, collaborated on this one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I think it's just Sick Boy. Yeah, Sick Boy Enigma. They've been really trying some crazy stuff out. Boston accent much? I don't have a Boston accent. Ooh, whoa. What is that? That is crazy. This tastes like banana nut bread, but it almost has like a, like a rum taste to it. That is really really weird wow that tastes like almost banana rum but like that like cakey sort of flavor it's like you take a banana nut bread and then just dump rum on it that's what that tastes like to me i don't know um wow that's interesting i'm not much of a dessert guy but i will be absolutely diving into these two as soon as i get something built up for it because right now i don't really have any setups that are that are going to be good with those types of flavors so eh. Um, let's get into this one. This is from my buddy, Corey Voss. Big shout out to Corey Voss. If you're in chat right now, thank you. Thank you for sending me these. I know I kind of know what they are. I don't know specifically, but I kind of asked for some juice from him. Oh, oh, we got some legit stickers. I didn't even know he had legit stickers. Um, I should do a live taste test of something. I'll, I'll, I'll put something on one of my RDAs. But let's just dig into this one. Sweet. So we got some uh, my, some hometown stickers. Corey's got a ton of those, apparently. We've got a bunch of hometown stickers. And we've got 120 mils of transistor e-liquid. So, wow. Uh, this is Tango Chill. Hmm. Tango Chill. I don't know what exactly. It looks like mango, watermelon, and orange. Let's just do a little finger test. I always finger test before anything else oh whoo it's got a nice kick of menthol in it i'll tell you that much but the the flavor is really interesting i'm getting like a, a nice sweet sweet mango in there the other flavors i can't get so much on the, the finger test but i'm sure they're going to come out when i vape on this stuff but next one is galactic milk this is uh looks like raspberry cream Mm, that, that last one is really, really good, though. I'm going to have to dive into that one. Okay. So this one, it almost has, like, a, a cereal vibe to it. Kind of reminds me of, like, crunch berries almost. Crunch berries always reminded me of, like, a kind of raspberry sort of flavor. And it's got that very heavy cream in there as well. 
definitely digging that. I'm not a huge cereal guy. I know it's not meant to be a cereal, or I don't think it's meant to be a cereal, but um, I could definitely see myself vaping that one because it's just light enough. You know, it's not that heavy cream sort of one. Oh, this one, forgot to mention this one. This is lemon berry. This is the one that I've been dying to try out, lemon berry. Um, just lemon and berry, I'm guessing. All right, I've, I've, I think I've tried this one before at some convention. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This uh, might be my next all day vape right here. Dude, sweet, sour, tart, refreshing at the same time. It's like uh, it's like a summer afternoon in the sun. Perfect, uh, perfect pink lemonade sort of kind of flavor. Sort of, kind of, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Wow. Um, next up, this is from Lethal Coils. Shout out to Lethal Coils for sending me some of his coils. He's a local mass hole as well. So he's got a note here. I don't know if I should be reading this out loud here, but eh, thanks again for trying the coils. Okay, so it's basically just... Uh, here, I'll read the bottom part. Thank you, Nick, for everything you do to drive and support the community and industry. You were one of the first three reviewers I started watching when I started vaping about a year and a half ago, and I still do. Big love, brother. Look forward to seeing your content and uh, lives soon. Well, there you go. Now you're catching it right here live. So thank you, uh, Chris, for these coils. We've got some coils in here. He's got this nice, nice little package. Oh, those are nice looking coils right there. We got some aliens. It looks like a couple of sets of mech aliens and something for regulated. I'm going to have to read the specifics and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we got a bunch of new juice and some new coils. I think those are going to go hand in hand there. And let's see, we have one more box. I have no idea what's in this one. This one just showed up and I didn't get any emails or anything like that from any, any companies. This is from, what is it, E-Juice Depot? Okay, let's check it out. I have no clue. So we got a bunch of new juice. And uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping because I've just been so stagnant with my juice choices lately. I don't know what it is, um, but yeah. Oh, 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 packing peanuts. Oh, on the desk. Okay. Oh, sweet. So we have uh, Nitro's Cold Brew. They sent me a little care package here. Wow, all right. Well, I got enough juice to last me a freaking lifetime now. So let's just move the box out of the way. All right. Well, these are, these are really well packed and I lost my knife. There it is. Luckily, this knife is very sharp, and I can get into packages really nice. There we go. All aliens? Okay, thank you, Lethal Coils, for the aliens, man. You do some really nice, pretty aliens. I am terrible at those, so I appreciate it, man. Nick, go back to DYI to make self happy. What? I don't know what DYI? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. All right. Well, we have cold brew shakes, key lime pie. Let's just do a quick little finger test. A little more. Hmm. Don't get much key lime, to tell you the truth. But it's got a really interesting kind of shake flavor, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see. We've got a strawberry and cream. They've, they've got a menthol in it. They've got menthol in it, that's for sure. Strawberries and cream. It's got like that vanilla milkshake kind of back note to it. Pretty standard. Ooh, that menthol gets to you after a minute though. Oh, and salted caramel milkshake. This one, oh, I bet this one's fan freaking tastic. Ooh. Salted caramel milkshake. Now that's an interesting one. Um, tastes pretty good on the tongue, but I feel like it's gonna vape better. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? All right. 
And this should be, I believe, their coffee range, because I think they have a coffee range as well. I mean, yeah, duh. Nitro's cold brew. They better have a coffee range. So we have a, a white chocolate mocha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, this should cover me. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is a addictive chemical. There we go. That, that's the warning. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know you had to do that. This one is a macchiato flavor. Ooh, that like really cool coolness hits you. Wow, I'm getting like that really intense menthol going on. This is the macchiato coolness. Ooh, that's a very heavy kind of coffee flavor. You know what this reminds me of? The coffee flavored Jelly Belly uh, jelly bean. That totally reminds me of that. And that's not a bad thing. That's definitely a good thing for me. I like those. All right, come on. Let's get into these last couple here. Stab, slice, rip, tear. Hello, Peden, Peden from Denmark. How's it going? Yeah. I don't like the menthol aftertaste on my tongue, though. That's the, the one bad thing about uh, about doing the finger test, is having that menthol-y taste on your tongue afterwards. All right, so we got the last two here. This one's vanilla bean, vanilla bean cold brew. Whoa. That tastes like, um, don't really get any coffee whatsoever. It tastes like straight up, uh, Vanilla custard, maybe a hint of coffee. Not much though, for sure. And this one, this last one is almond cappuccino. <sighs> Woo, menthol, wow. Nice, almondy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would say my favorite one probably going to be the the macchiato it's the strongest coffee flavor but wow that menthol definitely gets to you after a, a minute of just straight up all that juice on your tongue wow i need like a sip of iced tea or something there we go much better and last but not least we have the dhl bag that still has my address on it so Wow, this looks sketchy. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Um, how do I get into this? I don't want to destroy anything either. This looks really sketchy. Everyone screenshot this right now. Okay, don't don't do that. Ah, okay. There's a seam. Oh. Ooh. Reviewer only, not for sale. <laughs> what is this? They didn't even email me about this. This is the katana. Here, I'll give you like a live, live unboxing. Uh, uh, uh. It's already on. <laughs> it's on in the box. Okay. Mirror black universal kit. So I'm going to try to get this on camera as best as I can because I have no freaking clue what this is all about. Well then, what the hell is this? All right, one second. Uh. Eh, yeah, Glitter Bomb 2, thanks. Alright, so it's a little stick-ish, squared off stick style mod. Me. I don't, I think it's got a built-in battery. I don't see any way to remove a battery here. Alright. So with it, I think that's not really the main focus of this device. It's more the tanks that you get with it. This thing comes with a whole bunch of tanks, apparently. 
different atomizers that you can throw on top of there. That's cool. All right. So, well, it comes with an RDA. Oof. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this RDA already. It's got uh, clamp design. Hmm. What do you What do you guys think of this? Bottom airflow clamp design. Tiny little juice well space. I don't know. I don't know. I've never really trusted RDAs designed by like mod companies like that. Um, so there, it comes with an RDA, comes with a, a sub ohm tank, which this is like really difficult to get out, this stuff. Okay. Comes with a sub ohm tank with kind of funky airflow. I don't know. Mesh coils, I wonder. If it's mesh coils, it gets bonus points. Mesh coils, hey, all right, I joy. Good job. So that's kind of cool. Airflow is a little funky. It's got a, like a triangular airflow. Next one is a little tiny coil atomizer. Oh, okay. Kind of a neat little probably mouth to lung tank it looks like. Oh my God, look how tiny that atomizer is. That is itty bitty. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's definitely going to be um, a mouth to lung uh, atomizer. Looks like, uh, is it bottom airflow? Yeah, it is bottom airflow. It's got like that clicky Nautilus style airflow where you can, hold on. I wonder if you can hear it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it is, it is in fact top fill or it appears to be at least maybe. Yeah. Okay. So it is top fill. Yep. You can open it up like that. Nice. All right. So let's see. And this one, this guy, what is this? This looks kind of funky. Is this a, Oh, wow. Okay. So it's a giant pod style thing. Uh, it looks like you can put a coil in there too. So let's see. Hmm. All right. I've seen coils like that before. Those look like BVC coils. Those look like the, uh, uh, Nautilus BVCs, not, not Nautilus BVCs, the, uh, Aspire BVCs. Almost like those. wonder how it vapes. I'm going to have to test all these out. But that's kind of cool. Was not expecting this at all. Had no idea. Um, so it's kind of like a little pod thing, like a, a big bit, like a what am I what am I looking for? Like an expanded version of their one from um, the little tiny baby kit that they came out with, the the Diamond Bay or whatever that thing was, the little pod one, which I'll be reviewing probably next week. Um, so that's neat. That is the iJoy mirror black universal kit mirror black i don't know <laughs> either way yeah that's pretty neat kind of cool that they put all of that in one box i wonder if it comes like this normally because it says you know it says universal kit on here um so i wonder if it comes like that normally but there you go there's the box for anyone that's curious i, I have never even seen this before so that's this is all news to me i'm gonna put the little reviewer only not for sale thing back on it because I, I like that that's kind of neat so there's that i'm gonna put that over there and there's one more thing actually uh this is not vape related this is for all you gamers out there got something for xbox from playing some xbox with michelle lynn because her and i were running into issues with our microphones trying to uh play some gta So, let's get it out of the packaging here. Whoop. So yeah, we got some uh, headphones. So Turtle Beach Stealth 700 for Xbox uh, Xbox One. So I got these just because uh, yeah, I wanted some some really nice headphones for my Xbox. Because I'm getting more into gaming lately, and uh, wanted to kind of treat myself a little bit. But I figured these were a pretty good choice. 
functionality wise. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about when uh, I'm talking about uh, gaming stuff. Anyone game out there in chat? Any of you guys gamers? Oh, look. A giant package of silica gel. Oh, hit the mic. So they look pretty comfortable. What do you guys think? Eh, eh not bad. Eh? <laughs> I don't know. Turtle beaches, I heard, were really nice and uh, they look nice. There you go. Turtle Beach Stealth 700s. I'm going to plug those in after the stream and play some Xbox before the stew. Um, if you want my Xbox gamer tag, then just, uh, PM me and I'll give it to you. But yeah. Holy crap. I got a ton of juice. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I've got like three 120 mils and one, two, three, seven hundred mils and two sixty mils. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, uh. Sweet. Well, that was fun. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? All right. Sorry, I've, I've been ignoring chat. I've been kind of trying to uh, just get get that stuff out of the way. So please, uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything that you guys want to talk about, pre-stew, uh, maybe you have a topic we should talk about on vape stew tonight. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Yeah, everyone says I should have got a PS4 that doesn't have an Xbox One. And everyone else says I should have just went with a PC. Well, I'm sorry. I have a Mac, all right? Um, Mo Bro, have a good night, man. Have a good one. Take it easy. Enjoy your beer stream tomorrow. All right, Brandon Boats, what's going on, man? Also known as Babs. <laughs> Brandon, miss you, buddy. I'm going to have to meet up pretty soon. The stew starts at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or if you're in the UK, 3 a.m. <laughs> um, is it just me or does a dead rabbit RTA tear through juice? Uh, yeah. But that's just because I'm using it a lot. I use this thing all the freaking time. So it gets used quite a bit and it goes through a lot of juice. So I, I think it's just my vaping habits. It's not necessarily that it, that it actually drinks the juice up quicker. Um, am I still doing Fresh Build Friday? I've kind of gone over this time and time again but fresh build friday is kind of making a little bit of a transition over to more of a first impressions of rebuildable devices so for instance if i get something new in that's rebuildable on the vlog then you'll probably end up seeing it that same week in uh on fresh build friday but it's more or less like kind of a here's the build deck here's how i'm installing my coils and you know, that kind of thing. And then my first impressions of the device rather than a build tutorial. Uh, and basically the reason for that is because I've done over a hundred build videos and I am absolutely just burnt out on building. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I can't even find the drill right now. The shop <clears throat> shop that I work at has a drill and I don't even know where it is. People like have even moved away from building because back, you know, a year ago, two years ago, people used to come into the shop and like build and sit there with me and like, you know, we'd teach each other techniques and stuff like that, which is awesome. And now nowadays everyone is either gone to pod systems or uh, is not doing RDAs anymore, like around where I, I'm at, you know, so just, I don't know, maybe that's just my area or whatever. Maybe it's just my shop, but I've just noticed kind of this trend and pattern of people not really willing to build anymore. People want to just buy pre-made coils and install them. Um, you know, when, and if I have a build to do, then I will a hundred percent do it. 
but up until this point, I really don't see myself doing much for building. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of stuck because I can do kind of the basics nowadays. I guess you would consider the basics like, you know, fuse claptons, pretty much any gauge. I could do fuse claptons. I could do regular claptons, of course. I could do twisted claptons and any kind of variation on that. Um, I could do staggered fuse. I could do aliens to kind of a certain extent, but I'm not very good at them. And that's about it. I've never really, I mean, I've messed around with ribbon wire before and it's really, really difficult for me. I just can't get the hang of it. And as far as anything to do with interlocking or any of that world, I have just, that is beyond me. That is beyond my skill level. That is beyond the time that I have set aside allotted to make videos, basically. That would take me two hours just to prep the coils and get them, you know, all spooled up rather than uh, two hours to make an entire video. Because pretty much I do my videos after the shop closes. <coughs> and uh, that means I only have a couple of hours to record a video, go home, edit the video, upload it, and have it ready for the next day before I can actually get a couple hours of sleep for the night. So, and now with everything that's going on with YouTube, I'm uh, backing it up on Vimeo. And with that, I'm also embedding it on my website as well. So make sure you guys, please go give my website some love. Dailyvape.tv. You can buy merchandise. It's available all over the world. And, um, yeah, you can support my channel as well from there. So please make sure you check out dailyvape.tv. I'll, uh, I'll just drop it in chat real quick, actually. I need to add some more moderators on here. Michelle, you're not doing your job. You're a moderator. You got to pimp, uh, pimp my channel and stuff. <laughs> Still haven't taken your wrench away from last time. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I doing? Pimping my own stuff. There we go. Dailyvape.tv. Check it out, guys. It's good stuff. I'm putting news articles up there. I'm giving my take on those news articles. And, you know, if you guys want to check it out, please feel free. <sighs> Sleep eludes me. Yeah. Sleep definitely eludes me. Uh, my nights usually end about three in the morning, sometimes a little bit later, depending on how fast the upload goes. And my internet is not very good. UK Andy, what's going on, man? It's late over there, over in the UK. It's just past midnight. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm a busy guy, and I have a full-time job, and I have very little time to get anything else done besides basically work, YouTube, website stuff, and that's about it. So, and I'm, you know, I've got other projects got, I've got going on, and Blaz stuff, you know, sometimes I have to do a random advertisement or something like that. Something needs doing and uh um but we are going to make a push speaking of blaz stuff we are going to be making a push to the international scene soon i am trying to take over that kind of section of the in of the the, the business we'll say uh i would really want to personally spearhead everything operations in the uk and in canada and in europe so hopefully I'm going to say probably, you know, a six month timeline. We are in all of those markets and I know people want it in Australia and all these other places too, but it's, it's difficult. It's really not easy. It costs a ton of money to get into those uh, markets just for, you know, coming up with new labels, shipping stuff, finding labs and all that, that kind of thing. Um, so it's a pain in the ass, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to try to get it over there soon. We have, uh, international distributors kind of lined up. So that's a good thing. Um, we got a, a couple people, uh, from over there in chat right now. So shout out to everyone from Europe and the UK and all over the place, all over there. So yeah, <laughs> shout out to you guys. <laughs> Vaping Irish says blame Canada. No, don't blame Canada. Um, bribing governments yeah exactly <laughs> maybe for australia for sure yeah um can we just take a second and talk about my addiction to blaz peach because i think i have a serious problem i've got whoa well there we go four empty bottles here 
of Blaz Peach, and this has literally been the last like two weeks. I've got four empty bottles there, and I've got one that is. Mm, ju I just cracked this one the other day, so it's only got a couple tankfuls out of it. But yeah, my addiction to Blaz Peach is just bad. Um, pretty much like every four or five days, I'll go and grab another bottle of it. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to be going into the UK and Europe soon. Um, dying to get over there because it, it'll give me more of a reason to go and visit my friends over there. But Canada, definitely a, a, a big possibility, especially with the new laws and stuff. That's kind of a big thing. So that's cool. What else? But that's Blaz, you know. Blaz, is, it's just kind of, we need the money to be able to do that kind of thing. So we need it to sell better in the States so that we can do that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I should probably pimp that as well. Here, I'll pimp that too. It's blazliquids.com. If anyone wants some of the cleanest juice on the market right now, uh, it does not kill your coils. If you're a part of my Daily Vape TV Cloud Crew group on Facebook, then I posted a picture today of my coils that I've been through. Uh, at least three of these bottles were on this tank right here with those same coils in cotton, and it's still completely white. Um, so I'm just going to pimp that link real quick. Let me just check the spelling. Yep, there we go. Uh, addiction to e-juice. Well, just that one flavor, really. Honestly, I can tell you that much. Just, just my own stuff, really. <laughs> Even if you bribe a politician, I doubt you'd get in uh, through the doors here in Australia. Well, we'll we'll have to smuggle it in then. Maybe if we just like hire a charter plane or something like that, we'll just fly over Australia and just airdrop little bottles of juice out. What, what do you think of that? <laughs> Um, but yeah, what's up Bristol Vapor? How's everyone, everyone doing tonight? I'm probably going to wrap it up here in a few, but, uh, if you got any last minute questions, comments, concerns, anything you guys want to talk about, um, what's been going on with you guys, anything in the news or well, something you want to talk about tonight on the stew, let me know. And I'm sorry if you hear the toddler that I live with. <laughs> not my kid not my problem but yeah that's why i don't normally stream from my house when she's awake <laughs> there you go uh brandon bone says gotta go socks and yanks are on the bitter rivalry continues this is the first time in 14 years that the socks met the Yan yankees in the postseason and that's i only know that because i was watching uh the other league earlier the uh astros and the cleveland cleveland indians i believe uh, new zealand oh that makes a lot of sense um i don't know is new Ze is how's the market in new zealand is it any good like do you know i don't know yeah what's going on everyone says chris go forth thank you guys for anyone that's been here the whole time thank you guys for hanging out with me Real quick, I'm just going to taste test one of these flavors. Which one should I try? I think lemon berry would go best with what I'm vaping on this one right now. But I really want to try this uh, Tango Chill. Screw it. We're going to try the Tango Chill. I'm just going to dry my coils out. Well, they're pretty dry. All right. Dry enough. You know, you got to love these 120 mils. It just, you feel like you have tons of juice, so you end up over dripping. <laughs> or at least that's me. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have a 120 mil, I always over drip somehow. Woo! <coughs> it's got quite a throat hit on there. It's three milligram. But it definitely is a, a pretty throaty e-liquid. Uh, it could be the menthol as well. So we have a couple people watching from Australia right now. Shout out to you guys, because it's tomorrow over there. <laughs> it's the morning. That's good, though. Yeah, I think it was just the menthol, because I have a very, very menthol-y flavor on there right now. Mark Clough, hey! This is, uh, this is uh, Mark's creation right here, the Warlocks Hammer Mod. He handmade this for me. 
This is serial number 20 with my logo there, as you can see. Gorgeous. Got some 30 T's in there with the, the lime green wiring and lime green screen on there. Oh, absolutely love this thing. Remember, the Gathering Vapor Lounge. Go there on Facebook and score one of these for yourself. Yeah, once you get over that, like, menthol. I think it was the menthol that I had on here before. But it's got, like, a cream to it as well. Or, or kind of, it tastes like that. Maybe it's just me. Um, but it's very smooth, kind of candy-ish sort of flavor. The mango is not as heavy as I thought it would be. Yeah, once you start vaping it, it's it's a nice blend of everything. You get that like kind of nectarine sort of flavor. You get that melony sort of flavor, the watermelon, and then you get the the mango as well. And it's a, a kind of a mouthful of candy, almost like uh, high chew candies, something like that. Um, that's what that this one reminds me of, and I really do like it. I'm gonna drip some more of it. Yeah, a couple more drops there. This one's probably going to be the first one to go down. That's for sure. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about really quickly. <clears throat> another thing I wanted to talk about was some more website stuff. Dailyvape.tv if you guys are interested. Um, I've start, started to do the news segments and I was thinking about possibly doing some juice reviews, some written juice reviews with specific categories. Um, I used to do it back in the day where it was like flavor, throat hit, and um, vapor, but I might change up the categories a little bit for my, my redo uh, of, of juice reviews. But um, I've been thinking about doing some, some written juice reviews and not only just e-liquid, uh, we're talking about some Cibida as well, if anyone's interested, because I do use Cibida, uh, not very regularly right now, but I've been kind of thinking about putting myself on sort of a regimen of the stuff because, uh, you know, just stress and anxiety, you know, I tend to find myself sometimes, you know, I grind my teeth in my sleep, which is due to stress. So when I feel extra stressed, I'll, I'll do a few doses of Cibida and it helps, um, so I've been thinking about putting myself on kind of like a, a normal regiment of the of that stuff. God, I wish I could talk about it more on YouTube, but unfortunately, it's just not the case. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in that sort of thing, but I have a massive collection of e-liquid. You guys, I, I should, you've seen it in the background of my, my normal videos. I have a wall of juice behind me. Um, so if anyone is interested in that sort of thing, let me know. Um, I'm curious to, to hear your thoughts. And I'm also trying to get a few other things up and running and working on my, uh, on my uh, website so that you can email me and it'll go into the correct mailbox. So that way you can have a mailbox for shout outs, a mailbox for giveaways, a mailbox for general information and review inquiries, and just my personal one where you could just send me anything in there and um, ask me questions and that sort of thing. So that's kind of the thing that I've been planning um, for the site. I want to kind of do some more different stuff on my website so that you guys can just go there and check it out and, you know, have some interesting content. That's not just a rehash of everything that I'm posting here on YouTube, just to give you guys more of a reason to go check out my site and actually, um, you know, give you something extra besides just my normal kind of day in, day out sort of reviews and reviews, blog, blogs, that kind of thing. Um, probably some more personal stuff as well. And another thing I've been doing is I switched my, my bag. So now I'm carrying around my, my camera bag with my GoPro. So basically, if I feel like doing some lifestyle stuff, I have my GoPro at the ready whenever I, uh, I get, the <laughs> get in the mood, I suppose. So I've got my GoPro right there. I've got my laptop in my bag and everything. So I can literally shoot and edit on the road wherever I'm at. That's kind of neat. Uh, I'm able to carry a little bit more gear now. Um, 
<laughs> Overdrip? I will not answer that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so going to be doing some more content basically over on my website. Let's see. So let's see. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Because I'm about to wrap this thing up. I'm about to, to be perfectly honest, I'm about to plug in those headphones and get them working so I can go play some Grand Theft Auto V with Michelle Lynn <laughs> before the stew. I want to test out those headphones because uh, I've been waiting on them all week long. Really excited to get into that. And I also have a Twitch. If you guys are interested, I'm going to put the link in chat right now. Um, I do have a Twitch account. I'm not really doing too much with it at the moment, but... I will hopefully be able to get the whole streaming thing down sooner than later. And, um, I mean, I do, I do all right, I guess. I mean, I do some random streams, random stuff, not really anything serious. Um, I'm not really looking to get too serious with it. You know, I do, oh, gee, eh, can't see my own keyboard. Um, but yeah. So that is my Twitch channel. If you guys feel like following that and you want to see me do some gaming stuff. But like I said, it's not anything super duper serious right now. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, I really don't need to know that you're 14 and you jewel. That's a, that's a really easy way to get put in a timeout. <laughs> but... That's about all I've got for you guys. So I think I'm going to sign out here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, to everyone tuning in right now, sorry you missed the show, but you will see me later on Tenacious TX Vape's channel for Vape Stew. And if you want to catch me in between, I'll probably be streaming some stuff on Twitch. So make sure you pay attention for that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And as always, vape on.